at the end of my walk today. Just sat down. Uh, I haven't drank too much coffee today, so I've kept my headache down. Just from reflecting upon the world my father and mother showed me as a child. And a world that I, I would say I probably liked. It was pleasant. You know, you can maybe reflect back on a child, uh, as a child, and think, well, you know, you didn't think about the world as that scary. And it should never have been that scary. It should never have been so incomprehensible, so dangerous, and so deceptive. And no child and no man should be, or woman should be left alone to contend with it. And every single person I've railed against, and every single person I hate, and every single person I don't, has had to deal with that world one way or the other. But very few people want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about the results. It's a wonderful world, and there's no way that people should be suffering and dying to the extent and in the ways that they are. As much as we leave, we can even trust any statistics or information presented to us at all, but I can see in the people that I've known or watched pass away, and, and I would say no, and uh, I don't accept that. It's too nice a world. And I don't want to feel guilty for being happy in it. And the kind of happiness that I hope will come upon me more often as time goes on that you don't have to pay for. Because my family has paid too much. And most families have. Yeah. They don't own anything. They've just become owned and socialized. And it's amazing the sneering, friendly places, faces of all walks of life that tried to introduce me to that world as though I for simply being unemployed, or attentive, or interested, or curious, or creative, or sensitive, or somehow demanding that they do so. And in so doing, telegraphed to me a profound and barbaric change in their whole mental attitude. Doesn't mean people can't be happy, doesn't mean people shouldn't be happy, but there is a plague upon the earth. There is a plague. We are natural animals, and we are not living according to natural principles anymore. The calendar isn't natural. The government uh, Supreme Court of so-called British Columbia ruling that they can take away and invade lands governed by the laws of a people who live there peacefully, who conduct their, affa their affairs in the feast house of their people. The argument is not, not that it's necessarily better than the way you might like to live your life, but be careful in any insinuations that any other way is better than that. I think at the very least, people should feel strongly encouraged and inclined to consider any other way of life but the way that most people live. Walking in straight lines, doing yoga in all the right sequences, thinking their positive thoughts, meditating for 15.5 minutes every three hours, and all the little routines and regimens that are suggested for every single fucking relationship and stage of life that everyone lives in. I just saw children playing in this forest for the first time in months. This is a special occasion. I'm not even sad for them. They sounded happy. They certainly seem to have a lot to do. They'll be socialized and owned. And they will there think that owning things is something that's actually happening in their minds and in the world. I'm glad that I do. I'm glad I don't wish suffering on people. There's a lot of work to be done to understand the sophisticated kinds of curses that have been wreaked upon a people who don't even think in those terms anymore. And that any great acquaintance with the land should, should steal one's heart in such a way, offers a great bounty of many things and not necessarily pleasant ones, but a richness to be sure that at least will sound true.